In the diatribe that he unleashed on the unsuspecting public on the 1st of July 2011, the distinguished columnist John Waters made a number of crazy assertions about morality, religion and atheism. Most specifically, he did make the assertion that atheistic morality, that atheists are somehow parasitic upon the morality that has been put in place by the religious majority in the country, by the religious kind of culture that is prevalent in the country, and that atheists have nothing to proffer into society by way of morality or anything like that, and like he put it, that they are parasitic on society's morality. Underlying that is the assertion, is the assumption even, that morality is something that is created by religion, that morality is something that is put in place by religion. And he put it himself in the words that he was saying that he felt that morality is informed by the notion of this special creation that he thinks we are all part of. I would argue otherwise. And since he didn't see fit to support his assertions with any sort of evidence or arguments whatsoever, but he just threw them out there, I will not bother doing the same. I will simply put my assertions out there. At least I'm going to have the intellectual honesty to admit that what I'm going to be doing in the remainder of this video is hypothesizing. It is throwing some ideas out there that to me seem to be quite reasonable, that seem to me to have a certain potential to them. So what I would like to do is for you to listen to the suggestions that I'm going to make and maybe tell me what you think about them. Now, I am quite willing to accept that what I am doing is hypothesizing. So here goes. What I think, and this is not in a hypothesis or an assumption or anything like that, this is a simple, plain and simple fact, is that humanity has evolved over the past several hundred thousand years, and that is only looking at Homo sapiens as a species. But Homo sapiens was already a well-established species that shared with us an awful lot of, what you call it, attributes that we as Homo sapiens sapiens also possess. And it is clear from looking at, for example, fossil remains of Neanderthals and things like that, that attributes or behaviors such as worship, the creation of some level of culture and so on and so forth, the, the way we deal with the dead, for example, the rituals that surround burials and disposing of the dead, that that is not something that is was only put in place by Homo sapiens sapiens, but that is something that has been in place for much longer than that. It was in place for Homo sapiens, it has even been place in place for Homo heidelbergensis or the Neanderthals, as they've also known. So the idea that morality is something that is imposed on us by a religion is patently absurd. It is clear that culture, ethics and some form of morality must have existed all along for the last several hundred thousand years at least. Morality has always been part of the journey that we've undertaken as a species. We have always been living in groups and as such, we have always had within those group a certain set of ethics, a moral code, and so on and so forth. So this is the part where I'm starting to hypothesize, because up until now, I have said nothing that isn't 
patently obvious to anybody with half a brain. Now I'm going to hypothesize. You see, as a species, we have this habit, first of all, of trying to find, recognize agency all around us. And this is one of the factors that seems to have been involved in the development of religion. We have tried to see agency in the re reality around us and those parts of reality that we cannot simply explain by agents acting upon the environment like animals or other human beings for example eventually lead us to surmise such agents as gods whatever they are so then as human beings we have combined this these two aspects of our lives first of all that we have invented this notion that there are parts of reality out there that we do not understand and that are governed somehow by gods and of course as human beings imagine living in a small society a small group a hundred thousand years ago without writing without history without anything like that where did all these moral codes, these ethics, these guidelines, these unwritten rules that people of the clan, of the group, were supposed to adhere to? Where did they all come from? Nobody remembers. There is some oral history, maybe, but it is all vague and it's all descended in the mists of time. And if you want to have the closest you can come nowadays to experiencing anything remotely like that is maybe by talking to Aborigines in in uh, Australia was it Aboriginals? Aborigines? I can never remember <laughs> but if you talk to them, if you talk about their dream time, that is probably the closest we can get these days to maybe experiencing for ourselves what it must have been like for these people to try and understand or create a coherent narrative trying to understand where their morality came from. So the notion that morality was imposed by us by a god is a convenient fiction invented by people unwilling to accept that they didn't understand where their morality came from. That the real roots of their morality the real roots of their ethics, maybe even the arbitrary nature of some of the rules that people in the group were meant to adhere to, that some of these things have gotten lost in the mists of time and we are doing things and we all feel that this is the way things should be done but nobody quite remembers why. So we combine that with this idea of agency out there and before you know it you have this silly notion that God imposed on us a set of moral rules. That is my hypothesis, Mr. Waters, and I would like to see you present a coherent and convincing counter-argument against it. If you can't, then maybe you should keep that big mouth of yours shut in the future before you decide to point at another group of human beings, for example, atheists again, and call them parasites.